Hi guys, welcome, welcome back to the I Don't Even Know podcast. I am Em, I hope you are doing well. Today, I'm here, All American Homecoming Season 3, Episode 5. We're finally getting in to like the storylines this season. We're finally figuring out what this season's really going to involve. And like, yeah, it's Episode 5 and we kind of, we're figuring stuff out last episode but i think this is like where it really like starts or like we're really getting answers you know because i feel like with shows the first few episodes of a season sometimes they're just like picking stuff up up and doing like different things and kind of leading up to some of the bigger storylines that the season's going to involve and by like episode four or five usually four or five they kind of like find their footing and we get our answers and kind of see what's going to happen and i feel like this is what has been happening and has has happened with this because you know like last episode we kind of got our answers with simone kind of of course this episode confirmed it like really what's going on but we kind of figured out that her storyline this season was going to involve her breast cancer or at that point I we didn't know for sure she had it yet we thought maybe it was just like a scare or at least I did I thought maybe it was just a scare and then like actually she didn't have it it was just something going on but now we know she has breast cancer and so we like knew it was going to involve something with this like last episode and we like we've known about JR and Keisha having storyline and like that kind of thing it just hasn't or like it didn't really lead anywhere until this episode this is where it's starting and so I feel like same with Lando and Simone we're really getting into it now and I'm happy because you know it's only 13 seasons this time and you know I don't want to like I want as much as I can get And so I kind of wish they started these things in, like, episode three or probably three, maybe even two, after, like, we got our answers in the first episode. I wish they kind of started there with all all these storylines that are kind of starting and really picking up. Because I want as much as I can get. And it bothers me because we have eight, nine episodes left, I think... So it's like we're in the single digits now. We're getting lower. Like we're getting to the finish line. I mean, it's not going to be until September or October. Probably October. I think this year's finale is going to air in October. I might be wrong. It might even be November. I don't know if they're going to skip any any weeks. I don't think they will, but we'll have to see. I just wish we got this sooner, you know? Because... I'm scared of how they're going to wrap this up. And I feel like a lot of people are as well. Because, of course, when they were filming it and writing, they didn't know it was getting canceled. And I know it was confirmed that they wrote the finale, or, like, the finale, I think. Yeah. As a series finale before they knew if they were getting canceled or not. And I don't know if, like they knew before they finished because I think when a show does that and they finish filming before it gets announced there are still some things that are like not finished just in case like after it gets after it's finished airing they get renewed but then also I know from CW in the past when like back in 2022 that horrific day or that horrific week in time that they canceled literally like more than half of their shows which I am still traumatized to this day from that that was so upsetting but I remember DC was one of them that got canceled and I haven't watched it yet it's on my list I'm waiting for DC um shows I'll explain that in another episode I'm waiting for that But I remember that got canceled. And it was a bit different because they had a bigger fan base. I mean, I don't know. 
They might have not. I think th they did because DC, like how big the DC franchise was. And I remember it was season six. So it was a bit more upsetting because it was season six. But it ended on a cliffhanger. And I remember everyone was furious about that because like six seasons of it. And so I feel like with this, it would be a little different because it was three seasons. But I just don't want any loose ends. And I, I don't think we're getting a cliffhanger because it got canceled. And they said like, we're going to wrap it up. But it's, I'm always a bit nervous because I don't trust them. You know, I'm worried like some shit's going to happen. Like I'll trust them to a point. But then all the shit they've pulled in the past, like, I just don't. It's like, I need everything answered. And I don't know how they're going to get all of these storylines and fix everything. And give us all these answers and all these things we want in, like, eight episodes. It's like, like I needed one more season. Like, what the hell? Like, I'm just annoyed they're going to throw JR and Keisha at us. And then cancel the show and like put us through that and then cancel like do I want them together no I don't at all but I'm g gonna get annoyed if they're gonna do all this build up and all this shit we're not even gonna see if they're actually gonna be cute together it's like, I'm team Keisha and Cam JR and Gabby and I've said that before and I'll say it again like I'm 100% them they need to be in game are they no and I feel like maybe if we got renewed, they would be, and this would be, just be a little thing, but no, we'll never fucking know, and it pisses me off. It's like, I've been waiting for them to do this shit with them since the trailers, yeah, the trailers came out, because I knew it was gonna happen from the way they were looking at each other, and everyone was talking about it. I was like, okay, I'm not excited because I don't want them together, but I want to see how they do it and how the rollout is. So far, it's not great. I mean, I assumed they were breaking up like episode three or four. Or, not just that, I thought they were, maybe like, because they were having issues, I thought the issues were gonna like, continue for a couple episodes and then, I don't like how they're fine and then now they're not because cam found the video of jr at the dancing thingy at the dancing circle that keisha's been going to and okay here's my thing with it i don't blame the guy for being upset i don't i really don't i completely get it like i get why keisha also didn't want to tell him about it because like yeah she wanted something to be like her own and he, she's like feels like he's judging her with like dancing sometimes and all that she just wanted something to herself and let go and just like avoid everything i completely get that the only thing that bothers me with that is jr knew and was going to to it with her and like i get why kim's mad about that it's like yeah that is her friend, her really good friend, but he's noticed even before that, like a, like a couple minutes before that, that something was kind of going on with them. And I think he has been noticing that they're a lot closer. And I think th seeing them together at the party, being all close, and then that was like, okay, yeah, they have feelings for each other. Or honestly, I feel like Cam might think they're fucking. I really hope he doesn't because I just don't want chaos or any more chaos. I mean, actually, um, I won't be m that mad about it because I feel like I need something because I'm, I'm sad about Simone and I, like I want to cry for her. So I feel like I need something, some sort of exciting drama, but I just don't want anyone getting hurt. Like if someone's going to get her on the sh show, yeah, might as well be Cam because I don't care for him as much, but it's just, I'm worried this is going to like ruin his development as a character because he's had such good character development like what the hell like, i remember him in all american and i said this on here i think like last episode of episode four or one of the episodes this season i don't know but i said like his character development has been on point and it's been really good and i love when characters 
do this or like writers do this with characters like they start off being absolute dicks and then become better you know and it's like is he my favorite character no is he the best character development i've ever seen like no not even close i don't know who the best is but he's not one of them but, but like he it's still been great you know seeing his growth and seeing that he's genuinely a good guy he just needed to go away from some stuff i think just getting away from football really did it for him and that helped him immensely and so i'm worried that this is going to affect that why did i say effect like that what the hell i'm just nervous because i don't want him to be a dick but then if he is honestly he kind of has a reason to be like will i be mad because of his development yeah but then who wouldn't be mad about that like i would be pissed off too like my girlfriend is getting really close to one of my best friends my i almost said sorority fraternity brother or ex fraternity brother but cam and jr they're like best friends i assume so yeah it would obviously be upsetting so i don't blame him for getting mad i'm just nervous how upset he'll get and how he'll like approach the situation because i think maybe next episode he's gonna go to her and be like what the hell and she's going to like cover it up and like be like oh no nothing and then it's going to continue and then in two or three episodes they're gonna break up i feel like with the way they're doing it right now it's going to take them a bit longer than i initially thought to break up and make jr and keisha a thing i think it's going to like pan out through the season because they're probably gonna go back and forth and i don't think keisha knows that she has feelings for jr yet i think i think both of them don't realize they have feelings for each other because they both love their partner and maybe are in love i don't know if they've ever said i'm in love with you i feel like they probably have but we haven't seen it so you know they but they love their partner so they're probably gonna be in denial they're like oh no we're just best friends like we've been there for each other all that like they're gonna do that to their partners and say that to each other and then as they talk more and as it gets brought up more they're going to realize that like oh shit i have feelings i'm gonna just throw it out there and say episode nine or ten it's gonna happen maybe episode eight i don't know I, I saw stills for episode seven well during a commercial break t- tonight and it like they were all together like gabby jr keisha cam and nay and simone were there as well of course but since they were all together i'm kind of thinking it didn't happen yet because i when it happens i don't think they're gonna be like all good and hang out with each other like no it's gonna be chaos absolute chaos it's gonna be a fucking shit show like are you kidding so i mean i just i think they're going to wait until then or they're maybe even gonna wait till the final episode to get them actually together i think the least they're gonna like the one thing they're gonna do is probably have cam and keisha break up latest episode 10 same with jr and gabby i think they're gonna break up and like both of them and then keisha and jr are gonna go to each other and talk about it and then they're gonna realize that oh fuck you know we both have feelings for each other. Am I the only one who thinks that? Because, like, I'm trying to come up with things in my, like, theories and everything about what's going to happen because I'm so thrown off that they haven't broken up yet. If you're going to piss me off and break my heart, you might as well just do it now. Like, that's how I feel about the situation. I'm just like, get it over with. Like, I know they're going to break up. I don't want you to, like like spread it out the whole season just let it happen i'm pissed off enough i hate when the shows do that they like wait we know they're gonna break up but they wait so long to actually do it and like spread it out let's not do that i'm pissed off enough 
I don't know how to feel. Like, maybe I'll like Keisha and JR by the end of it. Like, sometimes that does happen with ships. Like, I'm, like, completely against it. I'm like, no. And then by the end of it, I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, they're kind of cute. I'm down for it. And, like, I think they're cute. That might be the case. But right now, I'm not seeing it that way. I mean, clearly, from the way I'm talking about them. It's just, like, I see them as friends. I see them best friends. Because that just seems best for them. Especially because like, she's dating his best friend. Like, I know that does not stop characters. And not just characters, people. Like, people do it all the time. Like, I know that doesn't stop them, but still, I think it should. It's like, since the final season, I just want everything to go smoothly. And for their, like, group, their little family group to not break up. And it's going to happen. Like, it was kind of going to happen either way because a lot of them are le- graduating and leaving college. But, can they just stay friends? Like, it's obvious they're going to get together, but I kind of want them to do, like, this turn that they don't. Please. Like, please just do it for me. Like, I liked their scenes together, especially this episode. I thought they were nice and cute, but cute as friends. Like, not in, like, a cute, like, oh, like, they would be so cute together. Like, I saw them as friends. Friends who have been there for each other and give each other advice. Because, like, what they were both saying to each other, like, was great and they've been going to each other for relationship advice it is advice in general and i think i want them to keep it that way obviously they're not but i just want you know i just want it that way like what the fuck i cannot like be stressed about shows right now because i'm already stressed about my life like come on don't stress me out even more than i already am I thought it was cute this episode that like, they were motivating each other and JR was pushing her to like do everything and like, change up the fashion show, do this, do that. Like they were there for each other. It happened this whole season and I love it, but I just don't want them to you know get together. I'm worried they're going to kiss like in a couple of episodes to be honest or I'm worried Cam's gonna think they fucked or some shit because he knows even though that he he told Keisha he wanted her to be honest and she said she would be he knows that she probably won't be and I think he might think they're fucking or they kissed or some shit that'd be so messy but I'm also now thinking about it kind of here for it <laughs> I say I don't want drama and I just want peace and love and happiness but then when i think about it it wouldn't be so bad like i would kind of live for some chaos like i think it will distract from the stress i'm feeling and and every with everything going on in my life and in shows like i think it will distract me and i think i need it i do maybe i'm not against it Honestly, now think about it, I am kind of excited to see, like, how they do it, because I'm ready for chaos. I know I said I wasn't. I am. I just had to process it and think about it, and I'm here for it, honestly. I just don't want people to get hurt. They obviously will. I mean, fuck. Fuck. (laughs) Oh, my gosh. It's going to be such a fucking mess. Like, I think it's going to kind of remind me of like the Liv, Spencer, Layla. I mean mostly Layla. Astro was kind of involved, but I didn't really give a shit about him back then. Like that whole situation. Like season three. It's I feel like it might remind me a bit of that. But then it also probably won't because let's be real. Nothing will top that. Like I don't care what they try to do with Keisha, JR, Gabby, and Cam. Nothing will beat. Season 3, All Americans, Bolivia, Layla, Astro Drama. Nothing will beat that. Like, that was such a moment in time, and I'm so mad I didn't watch it live. But, like, that was such a moment. And I remember, even though I didn't watch it then, I watched it after Season 3 dropped on Netflix. I remember my Twitter was going crazy because I followed people who watched Legacies and some other shows 
and they also watched all american and everyone was losing their shit every week i was like what the hell is going on and i had no idea but then when i watched it, i was like okay yeah i completely understand i would be like that too it was such a moment. It was iconic. The angst, everything about it. Like, I kind of feel like they're trying to recreate that in a way. But nothing will beat it. You know? Nothing will. Maybe they're not. But I I hope people understand why I think they kind of are. Like, the best friends turn lovers. But it's like, it was different with Bolivia. They had all this build up. It was them from the beginning. We knew that. She aren't. Keisha, like, no. So, when Ke- basically, Keisha and Cam from the beginning, I mean, th- they've been hooking up since episode one. So, that's why they should be endgame. And JR, if he's gonna end up with, like, anyone other than Gabby, might as well be Thea. I-, I said this at one point last season as well when I did episodes. But, like, I wouldn't be opposed to that. Because it also wouldn't fuck anything up, really. I mean, yeah, Gabby, but. This is a little more messy. I mean, it's an obvious choice to do this kind of thing in a drama show. I mean, so many shows do this. Like, best friends in a group together. They're in different relationships. They f- end up falling in love and having feelings for each other and dating and fucking things up. Like, that's such a common thing to do. And so I'm not surprised they're doing it. But it's It's stupid. I think. I don't know. I, I might change my mind. I honestly change my mind about this shit all the time. So, I mean, <laughs> we'll see next week what I think about that. Stay tuned. Either be thrilled about it or furious. I mean, honestly, I don't even know if I'll know next episode. It might take me a bit to process everything. Like, fuck. I need them just to give me answers because I didn't think about this until last night i don't know why i was thinking about this last night actually now i know i had to it's like i had to buy a a mini fridge or rent a mini fridge in a microwave for my dorm this year again because i couldn't keep the one last year because i rented it and as i was doing that i was like oh fuck i'm gonna have to deal with all american homecoming during school like it's going to start it or my my sophomore year is gonna start while it's still airing it's like fuck now i get why i wanted them to air it during all american like i didn't because doing those back to back the one week i did it was absolute hell like i liked it because i love like watching shows and i love talking about it and doing this but it's like i watched all american at seven I obviously finished at 8. I went to the car to record at 8. Finished around 9. Ate, ate a snack. Or, like, got a snack. Went upstairs. It was at 9 o'clock. Watched All-American Homecoming. Finished around 10. Or, like, a little after. Went in the car. Finished recording around, like, 11.15. Like, it was rough. I was drained. And so, like, I was like, I don't... I'm happy, like, I don't have to do it again. But, like, this is why. I don't want stress during school. Especially because an episode's going to drop the day before I start school. Cause, like, I don't know when I start. But I know I have the Monday off for some reason. Or, at least I don't, I have something. We don't have class on Monday for, for some reason. I don't know why. Or maybe we do and I'm just an idiot and don't know. But it's like, first week of school, I'm going to have to deal with this stress. So I want them to give me shit and kind of have the drama now. So I don't have to stress about it during my first week. I'm just not built for it. Like, I need... Like, thankfully, I'm... Even though, like, as into the shows I get, and they become my personality, and they're, like, in the back of my mind all the time, or specific things in shows... I thankfully can still focus on school, and I, I do, I'm doing very well, or I did very well last year, and the years before then, so, like, I'm fine, it's just, I don't like when they do this, you know, it's like, I'm just gonna say, homecoming, figure it out before my school starts, please, like, get Keisha and Cam, Jara and Gabby to break up, and for them to know that they have feelings for 
each other before I go back to school, please, so I can figure it out. Like, come on. Come on now. Let's not piss me off. Because also, I'm pretty sure I'm moving in on a Monday, so... I have to deal with that, dude. Like, fuck. I feel like I should move on from, like, Keisha Cam situation rant. I feel like I should. You know what? Okay. There's other stuff I want to talk about with Keisha and Cam, though. So we're going to move on from the JR aspect of it and just talk about them for a sec before I move on to other things with this episode. Because a lot, a lot happened. It's like, this episode kind of made me like cam and keisha less to be honest it's like i'm not the biggest biggest fan of them i do really like them are they my favorite chip on the show no i mean gabby and jr there aren't that many ships going on right now (laughs) to be honest but it's like them arguing every episode is just pissing me off and i know they're doing it because of like the whole situation but they're just not meshing well together. I think that's the right word. I mean, who the hell knows? I'm tired. It's like, they're not really going well together. They're having issues. And, like, with the fashion show, I get why, like, they kind of brought in each other. But I get why Keisha was stressed out about the whole situation. Like, she felt like it was a competition. Like, everyone saw KK's little thing in the morning and it made them want to buy tickets and then it sold out and she's like they sold it out for them not for me and for what i've done the past few years and of course she like she started doubting herself it's like i get it and i that's why i feel like maybe they shouldn't do stuff together all the time and maybe she kind of had a point last episode with like how she didn't really want him to do the um that show with her i get it i mean if she feels like competition like yeah it shouldn't be but it still does, and I feel like it would feel like that with a lot of different people, no matter what the situation is. Especially when they only sell out tickets after they see that, and not for, like, everything you've done. It's like, it makes her feel bad, and she already is, like, feels sh- like shit because uh, she, I mean, didn't get into literally any of the graduate school's last episode, and I'm really upset they did not bring that up again this episode come on they probably will soon but come on like i i get i oh my gosh so i get where she's coming from i get both sides but i really do get her and like i get like why she was spiraling this whole episode like i kind of wish she calmed down a bit to hear simone out when like she was getting mad at simone but like you just need to take a deep breath like you like, obviously, things are going to happen. Like, you don't know what's going on with Simone. Like, she, so, it wasn't necessarily her fault because she didn't know what was going on. But also, I feel like no matter how stressed you are, don't, like, go after people like that and say shit. Because you never know what's going on. Even if they're your best friend, they might not be telling you something important or t- be telling you what they're going through. And you just need to calm down because that energy, like her freaking out was probably not helping Simone dance either and helping everyone else. Like, it wasn't. I'm like, yeah, I don't know. I mean, the fashion show, it was great. I had a great time. I don't necessarily know if the step, stepping, or like, the step group, step, whatever, stepping, you know, I don't know if it was good because I don't know anything about stepping because I did used to dance. I danced for a while or, like, couple years i mean i don't know i danced when i was a child for a few years and i never did stepping like i did ballet a lot i did some other things too but it was mainly ballet like i did ballet for years and so i don't know stepping i don't think they had it at my dance company or if they did i never saw anything like for it so I don't know if it was good or not. Like, can somebody who knows stepping please tell me if it was good? Because I was like, okay, like, this is fine. I like, I thought they were slang. They might have not been. Like, because I don't know anything about it. But then also, it was kind of making me cringe, too. The way they were yelling. I don't know.
know, that might be, like, a step thing that they do. And if it is, like, go for it. I think it's just... I don't know. Maybe if it was, like, not this. And maybe if it was not Cam. I would not have cringed. But because it was Cam, I think I did. So, like, I'm unsure about that. But other than that, the fashion show was great. Like, Keisha incredible killed it the outfits were great i loved jr and his little it like look looked like an old man i know it was like old-fashioned and stuff but he, he looks so cute i fucking love jr like i thought it was great other than stepping because i don't know how i felt about it i thought i thought it was a success i mean nothing will beat the other fashion show with Liv and Simone. nothing will ever beat that that was such a moment I said this last episode, like, partition, Beyonce, like, are you kidding? Like, getting that was just the icing on the cake. It was just perfect. So nothing will ever beat that and ever beat that homecoming. But the fashion show was so good. And I'm happy they brought back homecoming this episode because that's what made me fall in love with the characters on the show. Like, I fell in love with Keisha, Nate, and Thea, and JR. Damon, I was a bit unsure of. But I fell in love with those four in that episode. And then, like, I was even more obsessed with them when I I learned more about them in the actual first episode. But that's when I kind of fell in love with them. And I was like, oh, this is so, like, I this is so cool. I'm, I think I'm going to like the vibe of this show. So I'm happy they brought it back. Because that's what started it all. You know? That was it. Like, that was it. And Thea, too, like, oh my gosh, she's finally fucking back, like, I mean, I've been saying this, like, where the fuck is she? Like, I'm so happy she's back. I, I know she's gonna be in next episode as well, or at least I think she's in next episode. Now that I'm thinking about it, I don't even remember if she was in the trailer, but I, I do know, or at least I'm almost certain that she's in next episode, because I think I saw a still. Not so sure about episode seven. But she's in this episode, and probably in next, which is all that fucking mattered, because I, I missed her. I mean, you know that. If you watch, uh, or, like, listen to my other episodes, you know, I've missed her so much. I adore her. And I'm happy to know how she's doing, because the way she showed up in episode one was cute, and I'm happy she was there, so just so I could see her and see that she's doing well. But we didn't really know anything, and... I didn't remember she was in the pro circuit. I don't even know if that was actually confirmed before this or anyone ever said anything about it. Maybe they did. Maybe they didn't. I didn't remember. So I I was confused about where the hell was she because she was a senior this year or would have been a senior this year. Or maybe not. I don't know how old she was. I'll have to look that up because I might have been wrong. But, you know, I missed her and I want to know what she's going what's been going on and why she is a series regular if she's barely in the episodes like i know it's because of budget cuts and they had to like, reduce people like series regular and just even if you are a series regular you can't be in every episode unless you're so alone and jr and stuff like that but it still pisses me off because like don't put her on the cover if she's not going to be in the majority of the episodes like, she's been on two so far. Three next week, maybe. And, it's like, I would have rather her not be a series regular if she was going to, like, have no screen time. It's like, if she's not going to be in episode seven, I'm going to get really pissed off, and I'm just going to say, like, they should have just had her be a recurring character. Like, I love seeing her on the cover, but it pisses me off because I had expectations that she was going to still be in college. And it's like the Damon situation, Except she's still considered a series regular. It's like, Belle, and I need her to be here moving forward with everything that's going on with Simone. Like, I need everyone, but especially her, because obviously Simone finding out that she has breast cancer. Of course, we don't know what stage it is yet, and it's the beginning, so it like, it might. I mean, it's not going to be easy, but you know, they might be able to like fix it sooner, and like it might not be as difficult because they caught it earlier and as heavy i mean it's still gonna be heavy but you you know what i mean i still think because of that it's going to affect tennis and everything 
that she's trying to work for. Like, it's not, it's serious, but it's not severe. We don't know how serious it is yet because it's the beginning. We don't know what stage. So it might not as affect as much as like if she was like really far with along with it but it's still going to because she's doing procedures she still is having all these effects so it's going to affect her and that's why i want thea here and i'm happy she was this episode to talk to her and like ask her like what the future is like how are we gonna do this because i think thea is such a great person to help her with it especially because she doesn't want to tell the coach yet or any of her other teammates because she doesn't want to like ruin anything like any opportunities the chances she has which i do get i I think if the coach knew she maybe was going to make her sit out so i get why she's not telling her but then and like yeah oh my gosh what am i saying but i think she maybe should or at least she might next episode because it's going to affect i mean we saw the trailer we know it's going to affect her like it already is i mean she when she was playing with dia like during practice it they was obviously pushing her because she didn't know which i get like you need to be pushed when you're an athlete or even when you're not an athlete but we saw like how it was affecting her and how much pain she was in and then same with the dancing just trying to raise her arms up and do this arm movement i don't remember what it was but i remember she had her arms up and doing something with them and we saw how much pain she was in there as well so it's like it's going to affect they're gonna find out and they're probably gonna sit her out but while they don't know it's good that like thea knows to help her because even though thea hasn't gone through this she's gone through her shoulder being injured so she knows i mean this is obviously different but she knows like what can happen and like the effects of well this and also just in any injuries and anything going wrong like with your health so she's probably the best person. And also because she just knows tennis. And also because I love her. And I need to see more of her. So I'm just happy that for that as well. And like, she was just so nice in understanding this was like... I miss her being bitchy. Honestly, I do. Because that's how I fell in love with her. Because I love my bitchy characters. But I love when those kind of bitchy or characters are nice or they kind of become nice and grow i do love that but like, i kind of miss her being a bitch but then she was so nice this episode to everyone and it made me so happy because even when simone wasn't answering her texts and when she wasn't going as hard as she wanted her to during practice you know old thea would be like would yell be pissed off she was very calm and just like come on like let's go like what the hell is going on and same with like when she they couldn't find Simone they were like what what's going on like I checked everywhere I'm kind of worried like what's going on she was good so I think her being the first to know like what the tennis situation is great because of how much she's grown and how understanding she is you know but I do miss her being a kind of a bitch I really want her to like go after someone like, I know there's no reason to. I want her to go to, like, practice. Or I feel like maybe because Eva or, yeah, Eva, Lena's girlfriend, I feel like maybe she's going to go after Simone and get upset and, like, she's, Thea might go after her. I know that's not going to happen, but I kind of want that. Because she's obviously going to go after Simone in some way or at least call her out because she knows that Lando still has feelings for her. Or maybe she doesn't, but... Or she does now. Or she's just jealous. Because she saw them hug. Which didn't necessarily mean anything. What? Well, okay, it did. Obviously, because they still have feelings for each other. But the reason they hugged was because he just found out she had breast cancer. And he didn't know what to say when she first told him. Or first told everyone. He was the only one who kind of didn't hug her and stood there. So he was doing it just to be supportive. Tell her that she's... He- she he's here for her which is great and i said like he's going to be there for her like for sure especially now knowing that he's had women in his life who's ha- who's had to deal with this and it tr- triggered him which kind of concerns me that someone maybe died because of it. i don't 
I mean, he said, like, the people in his life ha have overcome it, so I know you will too, but I'm, like, I'm kind of worried. Or it might have just triggered him because I feel like maybe his mom had it and when he was younger and he had to, like, witness it all and it was a lot for him. So I think because he knows all that, and, like, even though it will be triggering for him, because he knows all uh, about it and he's witnessed it he's going to be there for her the most and be the most supportive you know I, like i mean everyone will be like obviously we saw it in the promo for next episode keisha is being there for her and like comforting her and like helping her through this and nate's going to as well like everyone is i mean jr was as well this episode because like he's had a health scare or medical issues before and he's had to go, go through a lot like, a lot as well with with his health obviously with his illness and so he's been in her position of like stress and not knowing how to tell everyone just being scared and the way he talked to her about it and it's like you just gotta tell everyone like it's okay like we'll be there for you and like especially Keisha, he was saying like keisha too because keisha was upset with her about everything before she found out but like obviously he's in her position so i think or has kind of been in before so i feel like him and lando are going to be the most like there just because they've gone through s similar things you know or like lando's witnessed it and jr's had health issues in the past and had had to go through procedures and had things that like changed everything so i feel like maybe they're gonna be there for the, her the most i mean i kind of want them to i want everyone to and i know everyone will but I, I hope it's them because of like all the stuff they've been through as well with this and i know it is just the way lando like looked at her and how devastated he looked and like just the way they talked like, they're friends now obviously i mean we know that he admitted that they were friends last episode and i mean the way they were hanging out before as well like they're obviously friends even though he has a girlfriend and i don't think it's going to get messed up until next episode when the girlfriend probably confronts him about hugging her and asks asks him i mean like i hope she doesn't because he's going to like not listen to her because he's obviously going to be there for her for like Simone, because of everything she's going through, and she's going to need all the help she can get and all the support right now. Like, obviously. So I feel like that's gonna cause chaos. They're gonna break up in, like, three episodes, I'm calling it. Like, around three. I don't want to say just three, because I'm worried I'm gonna be wrong, but, like, around three episodes, they're gonna break up. Because Lando is not going to stay away from Simone, especially right now. Like, he wouldn't either way because he's literally in love with her. But with this, with this, he can't. He needs, needs to be supportive. Like, everyone else. Like, I'm so happy everyone's being so supportive. Like, I knew they would be super understanding, but I love how they, like, all hugged her and were like, we're gonna get through this. Like, you come to us and we'll figure it out. We'll support you. We'll be there for you no matter what. Like, all of them. It's like, that's what I like to hear. Because I was worried... Well, okay, I was worried they weren't going to take it the right way, or, like, what I mean by that is, I thought they were going to freak out about her not telling them right away, but I'm happy they were, like, oh, okay. Like, obviously, they were sad that she didn't tell her them, and she was scared, but then they were, like, okay, you know? I hope you get what I mean. I just kind of was worried. I mean, I was worried about Lando's reaction, too, when like they were t when Simone told them and he was just kind of standing there like like I was like okay like honey let's let's say something like I get it's a terrifying situation to be in like finding that out is so devastating like I know that from experience like it's so upsetting to find out someone like you know like has breast cancer like it's super upsetting like obviously but like him just standing there kind of freaked me out i was like oh no i was like what's gonna happen because i thought that maybe even though i didn't want to think this and i know he's a good person but i really thought maybe that 
because he's dating her sorority sister and because they said they're just friends that he was gonna be like okay this is too much and i'm gonna leave because like i know i'm gonna have to be involved am i the only one who thought that i probably am but i just i don't know why because the way he's been acting with the whole friend situation even though he like said they're friends and he he like she was the one who convinced him to confirm the relation the relationship with eva i thought maybe he was gonna be like okay this is like more than friends like i gotta go i'm happy he didn't though obviously i'm thrilled because like i mean bro has been coming through or yeah the past two episodes and this episode as well like he was being a good guy and standing up for shit and trying to make everything right like he's grown like he was kind of a bitch at first did i love him since the beginning yeah or at least when i remembered him because here's something embarrassing and i i said this in one of my episodes last season i did not remember lando in season one i didn't so when he showed up and people were like oh my gosh lando on twitter i was like we know him like who the hell <laughs> like this episode he he i really fucked with him in this episode i mean i fuck with him every episode like that man is so fucking attractive he could kill someone and i'll be like oh my gosh like i love him <laughs> you know oh my gosh i don't know the actor's name because i can't think of it right now but that man oh my gosh i would marry him if i could like oh fuck he's so fine it's like, oh my god like one of the best looking men in all the all-american universe honestly now that i'm thinking about it he might be top for me which is saying a lot because i think spencer and jordan or like daniel and michael like you want to call them by the actor's name or like the characters i think they're both extremely attractive like 100 percent. but there's something about lando and his damn smile that gets me every fucking time like every time he smiles i'm like oh my gosh like i don't blame eva like do i like her i don't know because i know she's gonna piss me off with the whole simone situation and probably gonna tell him that she doesn't want them to be friends but i completely understand her like like liking him like oh my gosh he's so fucking fine i don't care for her but i get it so i honestly did not care for her brother popping up this episode like i get it was for like the kek storyline situation but i mean i didn't care for it or like i cared for it more after knowing that it wasn't just to build lando and eva's relationship because when she was like oh i know we're like just confirmed our relationship or just made it official but here's my brother i was like okay like let's not you know like let's let's not have that please like, no thank you like like no so i was worried but then when i learned it was because they brought him in for a storyline with kek and the fraternities having beef because they got into a fight or like they used to be good like years ago but then they got into a fight and kek because they're like the golden child got away with it and didn't receive any big punishment and obviously the other fraternity what's the name Ro? i think it's Ro or it's, it's that's when they are they got suspended so like i like do i did i care about the storyline not really but it was kind of interesting just because i liked seeing jr kind of involved with the fraternities again because that was such a big part of him and then he got kicked out and everything and the guys wouldn't let him hang out which shout out to lando for being like i should have stood up for you like i know like i didn't i'm sorry like i'm happy like i don't care what anyone says jr did not need to be kicked out of, like from hanging out with them it's like come on now so i mean I guess we'll see what that storyline, though, with the brother. I mean, he came around. They threw a party together. They're fine now, which I liked. And I liked that Lando, like, really stuck to it. And, like, stood up for Keisha and his friends and everything. But, like, I don't care for the fraternities, to be honest. I don't. Because I don't really know that what the big deal is about fraternities and sororities. Like, I, personally, I don't. Like, if, you, like, if you're in it, like i'm happy for you like if you like it yeah but personally i don't know what it's about and i don't know why people do it 
Probably because I just don't know, like, what it really is. You know? Because my school... As far as I know, we don't have any. I mean, if they do, they do a good job hiding it because they did not bring it up at any of my orientations or any shit. So, I mean, if they don't... If they do have it, like, good for them for hiding it. Like, damn. But... I, I like, know colleges I applied to did have them. Or, co- I mean, one or two did. I, not that many did. But, like, when I was looking into it, I just never knew the appeal. You know, like, I know my sister and my mom were in one. I, or at least I'm almost certain they were. They were always like, oh my gosh. They, or at least my mom was like, it was so much fun. But I just don't, I don't know the appeal. Or I don't see the appeal. Because I don't really know what it is. So I don't care about these storylines because I just don't understand why it's a big deal. Like, if someone wants to explain what sororities and fraternities do, please tell me. Because so far with this show, all I've got is the sororities do some club things and, like, spread awareness about things. And they do it, like, actually, like, important stuff. But the guys, they just party and are brothers. So, or brothers for life. So I'm very confused by that. So please please let me know and i keep forgetting simone's in a sorority like i honestly forgot because it was one of the first episodes in season two i think or i mean it was at the beginning of the season and then i don't remember them bringing up last and again or they probably did i just i'm an idiot and forgot but then like i forgot she was a part of one until like episode two and the only reason i still remember she's in one is because of ava or eva it's like, are they going to somehow... Because with KK... K- K- oh my gosh. K... Oh. I cannot speak. I am so tired. K-E-K. The reason I remember they're... Like, they still exist is because it's brought up every episode. And they talk about their brotherhood every episode. It's like... Like, I get it. But I always forget Simone's in there. Like, Eva being around reminds me. Like, so I kind of curious is simone going to be like continue to be part of it and is it going to like somehow get brought up again because i don't like how they bring stuff up into like a an episode or like bring do something and just kind of bring it in occasionally like if they're gonna do something like this i like it to be there a lot even if i'm not the biggest fan of it i just think it's weird to do it for an episode like or like do make it a big part of an episode but just bring it up every once in a while you know so i guess we'll see i mean it's hard to tell right now with simone because of everything that's going on with her and how stressed she is which is completely understandable like i don't blame her for going after keisha like i get both sides but with simone like she's going through it and obviously keisha didn't know like i said keisha did not know what simone was going through but keisha was acting insane so like i get it so but like She's obviously stressed, like, she ran off, like, for a bit, and she, I mean, she said at the past show when she was watching, she's happy, you know, but also scared, which is completely understandable, and I could tell, like, this episode was gonna be hard for her, and she was gonna, like, be really stressed out from the beginning, I mean, first of all, because, like, the whole procedure, and, like, not telling anyone, and then, of course, being the lead of the past show where one of the main people and like learning and then learning new choreo or at least she was just in the background at first but then being the lead learning new choreo Keisha going at her not being able to find Keisha telling JR being stressed about everything like it's just a lot and also with the, the whole tennis thing it's just a lot so like I'm worried about her and I'm like wondering like what they're going to do with her storylines i feel like i think i think we're probably gonna get like something sorority with her soon to bring in eva even though she's in here now because of lando but i think they're gonna have an event and then they're gonna get into a fight or something i don't know but i just want to know like where everything's going because i want her to like be good with eva so like her sorority sisters can also be there for her during this even though she doesn't want to tell everyone right now but when she does i want them all to be there for her But then, I know she's not, because she's going to be a bitch about it. Like, she seems nice now, but I'm waiting for her to go after her. I mean, it's not, it's not her fault Lando's in love with her, and she's in love with Lando. Like, it's like, I'm just, 
I just don't want her to get mad at Simone, even though I know she is. I just, I need Simone to, like, not have any stress. Because, like the doctor said, at the beginning, reduce stress. Like, make sure, like, you do everything you can to reduce your stress. Like, have they met Simone? Girls in stressful situations all the time. I mean, I don't blame her. Like, I'm stressed 24-7 about anything. It's like, I could be laying in bed and I'm stressed about something. Like, going to bed and I'm thinking about something. Like, and I'm stressed. You know, like, I don't blame her. Like, it's a... The world is stressful. Like, what can we do? What can we say? What can we do? With a lot, my gosh. What can we do about it? So, like, I think, like, the Lando and Eva situation is going to stress her out even more. The tennis thing is going to stress her out. And then the JR Keisha situation is going to stress everyone out. So then we have that. And that's going to be a lot for her because everyone's going to be spiraling, fighting. And then it's just not going to be good for her. I don't know. I'm nervous. Like, I think it is a really good storyline. And I think I said this last episode. I like the storyline. And I think it's good. And it's an important storyline. But it still stresses me out. Because, like, the final season. I want happiness. I want her to thrive. She's miserable. It's, like, going through it. And I want to know if Amara knows about this. Because she said she hasn't told anyone. Which I get. But I feel like she needs to tell Amara. If she does tell Amara, ne- like, next episode, and she does not come back, I'm going to get really upset. Like, Amara needs to show up as soon as she finds out. I'm just saying. I, don't know. I guess we'll see. Because we don't know anything else about this. Like, with the trailer. Like, all the promo told us is Keisha's going to be there for Simone. It showed us some other things I don't remember. Something with Nate. Or it was just, like, Nate, Lando, and, like, JR. And everyone, like, worried about Simone because they just found out. And they're going to have to all na- navigate this together and help her through this. And then the JR and Keisha looking at each other thing. Because we know now that they brought that up with Cam or did that whole thing with Cam. Finding the video of them. That. It's going to happen. That's all we know. Like, I just want them to, like, show a bit more in the trailers. Like, I miss back in the day it was like season three of Riverdale when they had 20 second trailers that were like on at the end of the episode but then like a couple minutes after they would upload a 40 minute or not 40 minute 40 second trailer and have a bit more I wish they would do that here because I want a bit more answers about Simone like I need to know what stage she's in I need to know how like serious it is and like what's gonna happen I know they're not gonna say that in the trailer but all we know is like the tennis like she's struggling with tennis and like she's stressed and i need more i need my baby girl happy like damn last season and she's fucking miserable and going through it but i guess i guess we'll see next week but i think i'm just gonna end the episode here because i don't know what to say and i am stressed thinking about it so thank you so much for listening i'm sorry it was mess again I'm just so out of it recently. I don't know what's going on since I've been back from my vacation. I'm just so out of it. I'm like, even though I've been back for like two weeks now, I'm still so out of sorts because it was a lot. And because like, I'm getting close closer to moving in, I'm like packing again and I'm doing all this shit. So I'm kind of stressed about that and my mind's everywhere. So hopefully I won't be as of a mess next week so i'm sorry about that but again thank you so much for listening and i'll see you guys next week for episode six